Hey, this is Evil Death Fan 102, back with more Let's Play Spyro Dragon Part 2. And today's part, we're gonna go to Stonehill. So, let's go. Okay, this is the first proper level of the game, minus the home world, which we just did. So, we got the first 100 gems. In this level, there are 200 gems to get. And we're gonna hopefully get them all, okay. So, get that, get that. Get all these at the beginning. And get that. And get that. Just cut all the gems around here really first of all. Ram at these um basically rap the enemies are called the ram. Well at least I call them ram. I mean I was looking at walkthroughs to find out all the names of the enemies but that each walkthrough seems to have different names for enemies, so I'm just going to call them what I call them. So those enemies, I call them Ram. And they just basically um, just need to be charged up, and that's all. I'm not going to go down there just yet, because I'll explain in a sec. Where we're going to go firstly is we're going to go into here. We're going to go through all these and get lots of gems. Okay. Miss. In this level, we have 200 gems and four dragons again. Come on. Okay. Let's get all these gems and let's get the first dragon. Here is dragon number one. Thunder. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah. So like I was saying before in part one, use these as a safe thing. You just have to step on them and you will have saved. Oh, you can do this. You can actually automatically save. But I think if you just stand on them like running, if you just go like this, it just automatically saves for you. Okay, we have to go now. Um, I believe. Can you get somewhere in here? Um, no, I think it's in the next area anyway. Okay, so go out of this room and now go through here. Okay, get all these. All these gems that I just around. Ram into you. Haha! <laughs> I rammed into Ram. These right here are extra lives, very handy, to be honest. Okay. There is the ending, but I'm not going to do the ending just yet because I want to actually be able to do level 100% because the first level is like the easiest levels. And here's the second dragon. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Thanks, dude. You explain things really well. That thingy me jiggy. So, as the uh, dragon was explaining, this is a thingy me jiggy. Okay, anyway, um, let me just go through it just to save. Like that. Okay, what we have to do now is just jump on here. And just jump down here. And you can get some extra stuff. Okay. Be careful before you do this. Also, what you can do is go in here. Break these boxes, right? Things, and you can get a key. You might wonder what the key's for. You'll find out soon enough. So that's everything in this area done. Let's go back and use this to get up here. Now we can just go back in general. Back out of here. And now we can jump down here. Now when you get to the bottom of here, there is more some more gems. And there is the third oh you wasn't meant to do that, was I? Okay, well, yeah, um, go drop that, drop that down and use this, the key on the box right there to unlock it. For some boxes you need to get a key to unlock, and also at the same time, we can use the third dragon. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. 
Yeah, sparks from um, butterfly. That's like hanging around. For different colors mean different life um, health issues. I'm just gonna say like that. Yellow is the best one, and so on. Um, we'll explain the different colors when I get to them. But yeah, but as but um, you need, all you need to know is yellow is the best one. Okay, go for here now. This is where you need to be now. And oh no, it's ramming to a ram. Yeah, that's good. It's good stuff right there. Ramming into rams. Let's get all the let's get all the gems that there is. And all my gems. Fire at you. Aha. Just fire up, fire. And I just rammed into the ram. Okay, the enemies that I just killed there are fire. I am gonna call them shepherds. I think that's what they call because I think two different warfields call them that, so yeah. Anyway, let's ram into the ram. That is what it should be used for no purpose at the moment because we don't need them, but give me that. Okay, is there anything else? Around here, no. No more gems that we need to get. Yeah, there's some gems here. Can't miss gems, because gems are quite tricky to get in this level. Well, at least I think they are. Okay, nothing missed. Now we can go over here. If Sparrow stops ramming into things. Okay, up here is the final. Yeah, the final dragon for this level. As well as some more boxes of gems. Okay, we've got all the dragons. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Okay, so basically that dragon just told us about gliding. Now where do we need to glide to? Is the question. Oh, we just need to glide to where we want. Go right there. Yeah, oh, leave us alone. Turn camera around. Oh, uh, and the phone's freaking ringing. Oh, great time. No, I'm sorry, mom. But you're gonna have to ring me another time. Oops. Okay, just mind me a little moment. I'm just gonna turn my phone off. Because she's gonna have to ring me later on. I am currently busy doing this. Okay. Um, now we've got to just find some extra um, gems that I scared about. Got some gems there, some gems over here. Yeah, up to up here. Um, stop ramming into things. I know Spyro likes to ram, but seriously. Okay, turn around. I will hopefully be some time doing Spyro 2 as well. But I'm going to do Ratchet and Clank um, 3 before I do Spyro 2. Okay, that's all the ones from there done. Okay, we're going to introduce now an Egg Thief. And you're just going to basically fire at it. And... Oh, I'm pretty bad at these. Yay! Did it quite quickly actually. Which is good. There are 12 eggs in the entire game. Uh, 2 eggs in this first world. Um, so what do I need to get? There's just some few extra um, gems to find, which are where exactly? I, I don't know. Don't fall off. Okay, where are these final gems? That's a gem. There are two gems. 89. These gems are quite tricky to find because they're all in this final area somewhere. There's a, a box thing here. Is a gem worth two, and we can't go that far because it won't let us. So now it's all about finding the ones that are left without falling off. Wait, there's a box down there. That's not the rest of them, is it? Well, there's a box down there. Let me just double check. There's nothing else around here. As far as I know, I can't find anything. It could very well be that box, maybe. If it's not, then we'll just come back up, won't we? Okay, where's that box? I can't. Here it is. It was in that tent. Five. Oh, you. Damn, four left. 
Okay, if I can't find them currently, I'll have to um, edit and yeah. Wait! Okay, hopefully this is enough. Please be it. Oh, you. No. Oh, come on. Mm. I hate gems in an area like this. Why is there always one gem or two gems just scattered anywhere? Oh, wait, oh this could be it. Okay, this, this is the final ones, and yes, it's gotta be. Okay, finally I've found them all. That would have been edited because I don't want ages of me just running around. Anyway, what we gotta do is we gotta find our way back and use the portal to return. So, yes, as you could tell, on where me not knowing where I'm going, here, I'm going the wrong way here. Um, basically. Here it is, I think, yeah. Okay, use the fast mode to return. So yeah, you can quite easily lose the track of where gems are if there's an area with a big air amount of space. Now I edited it a bit because I didn't want ages of bomb. Okay, if you shoot these once you've got the um, gems, they give little balls. I think so many of them, little balls, equals like so many. So it's kind of a good thing, because I'll definitely need a live. And yeah. Anyway, enough of this. Where we're going to go next is... We're going to go through here, I think. Does this lead? No, I just have a button. Um, we're going to go... In here. And we're going to go to... Dark Hollow! So see you guys on part 3, where we do Dark Hollow. Till then.